Welcome to the world of backyard science. Once a year, 50 or 60 amateur scientists gather at my home from all over the United States. And every year, they have new inventions to share. We have lasers, vacuum pumps, 20,000 volt transformers. This might just be the best place to learn about high level science outside of an MIT lab. Tucked away in Lakeside, Virginia, is a man who's dedicated his life to science. I've always looked at eating and sleeping as a waste of life. I could have been reading in physics, doing something in chemistry, something with my hands. My name is Richard Hull. I am a retired electronics engineer. I was an amateur scientist from about eight years of age. Growing up during the space race, Richard became fascinated with nuclear science. Eisenhower gave a speech before the UN. He urged the American people and the world in general to become deeply involved in what was going to be our atomic future. And that initial spark led Richard to become the first amateur scientist in the United States to build his own fusion reactor. The first time I ever did fusion, I was elated. Fusion is the complex nuclear reaction that powers the sun, and Richard recreated it in a shed behind his house. The fuser, as such, requires no general license to make because it's not considered a dangerous technology. A lot of people look at it as the ultimate DIY. It would be nice if you've welded before. You're going to be handling flammable gases in gas lines. You're going to have to do some wiring because the fuser needs 30 and 40,000 volts. And those intense x-rays, they'll certainly go through you. This is the indication that we're doing fusion. Despite fusion's complexity, serious amateur scientists like Richard are working through their own backyard projects. So I formed HEAS, High Energy Amateur Science Group, a local group here in Richmond. We have people from all walks of life, people like myself, electronics engineer, the chair of chemistry at a local university, a janitor, another one that works for Greyhound Bus rebuilding engines. We are a community. Collaborating with amateur scientists and working with your hands is what the group is all about. That's a little bit of the nitrogen interacting with the xenon. I'm constantly searching for something that will amaze me and that I can carry forward. So did that grow as you pulled it out? It was already under there and I lifted it out. See, just like I was saying. These the High Energy Amateur Science Group allowed me to teach or to transfer some of my knowledge to other people who were thirsty for it and wanted it. The more pressure you have, the more fusion you have. The effort itself is part of the thrill, the challenge. And each time, no matter what happens, you wind up learning something. 